every day. Um, my attempt to be chic and put together glam. Um, this is what I do every day before work or um, when I go out to see friends. It's literally the exact same routine. So right now I'm working from home. Obviously I wouldn't have the time to do this uh, before work since I wake up super early and I have to rush to get to another city for work. So, um, so I will show you what I do. Um, so first I prep with the Nude Radiance Number no. 1 Fresh Glow Luminous, Luminous Fluid Base from Burberry. Literally, let me shine this up for you guys. Literally the most gorgeous packaging I've ever seen. It's so beautiful. Um, also very expensive. And it doesn't pump out very much. Um, I pumped it out. I'll just put some more, whatever. You'll see how much comes out. It's not a lot, girl. And I'm gonna put this on my face. So she's off the shot, but since this is my first video, my dog is wondering what I'm doing. She is the sweetest girl I've ever had. She's sitting there watching me do my makeup. Hmm? You look so surprised, you smell like bacon. Ugh. Okay, you sit here and you watch me do my makeup, okay? Like a good girl. Okay. All right, so now I take a foundation. The one I've been using lately is the Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty, is there something else to it? Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation in 290. So I take a pump of that in the back of my hand. I've been using Giorgio Armani for the longest time until this. Now I'm obsessed. Then take, uh, this is the Marc Jacobs The Face 3 brush. So good. I used to use the, uh, what is this? I used to use this brush a lot. The MAC and the number wore off, but you know this brush. This is like the old school brush. But it used to leave brush strokes on my face and it used to, um, leave lots of little hairs on my face and made my face look super hairy. And uh, for the longest time I was using a beauty blender until I found this brush. And this thing blends so beautifully, I can't even tell you. Um, so it just goes to show that I was not using a good brush. Or that brush is super old, I think it's the latter. So, usually a lot of ladies, or men, do their lipstick last, but girl, I'm gonna do it first, or second, cause I like, um, you know, a nude lip. I also feel like the lip sets the tone for the rest of the face, and usually every day I don't wear a lot of colorful eyeshadow. So, um, sorry, this is the, what is this, the Hourglass, what is this? The hourglass. The pointy thing. <laughs> their, their, their recent lipstick in I Want. I've been really liking this lately. And I like to outline a little bit out of my lip on the sides because I noticed that my top lip is comes in a little bit on the sides. So let's extend it out a little bit. So next, what do I do next? Oh, I do my under eyes. So, I'm gonna take my Sigma SS190. I have very old brushes, so they're probably labeled differently. And I'm gonna take my Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow. This is my favorite of all time. I use this every day. You can see it's hit pan already. And I'm gonna take this highlight cream over here, 
What's nice is that there's a little bit, there's a plastic lid to it so the powder doesn't get into the cream. Okay, Natasha Denona, I see you. And I'm gonna put it under my eyes in a sort of triangle fashion. And what I do is I go into my nose a little bit to pinch it. Make it look a little smaller. Because everyone wants that. So it looks a little light right now, but once I set it, it's going to um, look less crazy. So it looks really white right now, and I usually take it in here and in here. Okay. And then I take the Japanese pressed powder here and then take my Sigma SS150. These numbers are the original numbers that they had before they changed everything. And put it under my eyes. All right, so now I'm going to prime my lids. What I usually use for that is my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot and Lay in Low. Everyone uses Soft Ochre. I don't think anyone knows about this color. I got this color in the MAC um, Pro Store and the guy was like, this is literally foundation for your eyelids. It's an exact match. And he was right. It's very good. I have very oily eyelids. And it Primes it really well. All right, so next I'm gonna take my eyelash curler. This is the Trish McAvoy, McAvoy, McAvoy eyelash curler. take my um, MAC 168 SE. These are all really old brushes. Don't judge me. And I'm going to take the middle, the middle color and contour. And now I'm going to take, again, sorry for these um, antiquated numbers on my brushes, but this is the Sigma SS224 or the Fluffy brush. All of these brushes before, I, I guess Sigma got in trouble with MAC, but I think the numbers were exactly the same with MAC. This is back in the day when everyone had MAC brushes, okay? So I don't have these Morphe brushes that everyone else has. These brushes work fine for me. And I'm going to take this middle color. I'm just going to add depth to my eye. Alright, so I'm going to take my absolute favorite liquid lipstick. This is the, Ma the, the Marc Jacobs Magic Marker with a C Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is so good. I'm just gonna put a flick. I always wear a flick. It makes me look like I have long lashes and it makes my eyes look bigger. Blush. I have been using the Fenty Beauty Mo no, yeah, the Moscow Mule. This color is so gorgeous. This color right here. However, I was cleaning out my makeup and I found this beauty, this old brush. Not you, baby girl. 
my old MAC Dainty blush and I was like, I used to love this blush. It's like the best peachy, soft pink blush. So I'm going to use that. I've been using that for a while. Went back to it. And then I'm just gonna do this weird face and then put it on the apples of my cheeks. twice so one to just get my lashes up and the second time I just curl so I can put the mascara on before it goes back down again <laughs> straight lashes problems so I usually curl a second time and I pump it like this and before it gets the chance to straighten out again. I put a waterproof mascara. This one is the YSL, what is this called? Mascara Volume Effect FA Faux Seal. I can't pronounce French words. Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlight Duo in Hustla Baby. Sometimes I do the um, low key one. So let me just take this plastic off. This is the low key one. This is the not so low key one. I'll do both so you can see how I look like on me. that's low key I usually amp it up like I'm like why not usually I when I go to the office I'm like oh, I don't want to be amped up lately I've been feeling it okay so let me just let me just put some amp on my face and then so this mascara is fantastic it's called the Marc Jacobs Noir Velvet Noir major volume mascara. This is one of the only mascaras that doesn't necessarily straighten my lashes. Um, sometimes it does if it's super humid around me, but what I like to do since it's so volumizing is to put it over my YSL mascara. Okay, so this is the Mario Badesco Skin Care Established 1967. Facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. This is my favorite facial spray. I just spray it over my face. Beauty! <laughs> All right, so now after that, what I usually do is that I change into my clothes. I'm gonna do that now so you can get the full effect of work Dana, the office Dana, and I, then I usually do something with this hair. Um, there's nothing else. I kind of put this in a bun, but anyway, let me show you, and then, you know, you'll get the full effect. Okay, so I have changed into one of my um, work dresses that I usually wear. I really love delicate um, earrings or jewelry. These are one of my favorite. They're Threader earrings from Bobble Bar. So what I usually do with my hair is uh, not that much more than this. So usually at this time of the morning, I'm like, wow, I took a long time on my makeup, which isn't a lot. It's maybe like 15 minutes. But at that time, I'm like, I'm too tired. My arms have been up for 15 minutes. Hashtag lazy. So I just make this a lot more coiffed, a lot more... Put together um, so what I usually do I brush up my hair 
make sure my part is okay. It doesn't look that great right now. And then I just take my hair tie and pull it back in a ponytail. And all I really do is just twist it. Okay, let me turn around so you can see. Twist. And then just take my hair tie. And then after that, I pull sections here. Just because I have a flat head. Then I usually check if there's bumps. There is. I also see a piece sticking out. So I'm gonna tuck it in. So then my last thing that I do is that I take the Whey Finishing Cream. This is really great because I have a lot of flyaways as you can see. girl. And that's it. That's my look. That's my, um, my office look. All right. Once it's all smoothed out, I usually spritz myself with some perfume, put some rings on. This is, uh, these have been my favorites so far. So I'm going to put them on so you can get the full effect. Thank you so much for joining me and watching my everyday glam chic look. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you in my next video. Toodle doo!